Transfection is a powerful tool used to integrate negatively charged exogenous nucleic acids into cells through their negatively charged membrane. For basic research, transfection typically executes one of three key functions. They include inducing a gain of function by transfecting nucleic acids that code for a specific protein that is subsequently overexpressed in the cells, where it then carries out its function, knocking out or dampening the production of a native protein by transfecting cells with a small interfering RNA that disrupts the translation of the protein, or delivering the machinery for gene editing techniques such as guide RNA and the code for the Cas9 nuclease of CRISPR-based editing. Methods for transfection can be divided into two categories, physical and chemical. Physical methods physically perforate the cell membrane to allow nucleic acid entry. Microinjection is one such method, involving the penetration of the cell membrane with a glass micropipette, through which the nucleic acid is delivered. This approach requires a high level of skill, expensive materials and takes time, but is precise and the most efficient method of delivery. Its precision means it is often utilised for clinical processes, such as the production of gene therapies. Another physical method, electroporation, uses high voltage electric shocks to disrupt the membrane, leading to the formation of pores through which the nucleic acids can enter. This method can be scaled up and is compatible with challenging cell types. However, other substances can enter through the pores or they can get trapped open, leading to cell death. Magnetification, sonoporation and laser faction are also examples of physical transfection methods similar to electroporation. During chemical-based transfection methods, the negative nucleic acid is encapsulated in a positively charged transfection reagent, either composed of lipids or a polymer, to form positively charged nanoparticles. Transfection reagents interact with the negatively charged cell membrane and are packaged into an endosome and absorbed into the cell by endocytosis. The endosome is then lysed, the nanoparticle ruptures, and the nucleic acid is released. If the nanoparticle contains DNA, it is incorporated into the nucleus before translation. If mRNA is contained, it is released into the cytosol where it is directly transcribed by the ribosome. This method is comparatively simple and less cytotoxic than physical and viral methods. While initial chemical methods were less efficient than transduction, recent developments have dramatically improved their efficiency. Selecting the right transfection method for your application can improve your experiments. To find out more about transfection, check out our In Focus on the Topic with Sartorius over on www.biotechniques.com.